Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and you might have seen the uh, recent video I did on this very interesting um, sort of analog digital mechanical clock. I don't know what you would exactly call it, but um, basically uses these little belts. And um, if you guys are interested, I did a teardown of this entire thing and I went through kind of debugging the, uh, the motor, um, which... It was a synchronous motor. This is a gearbox for it, but um, the actual um, coils themselves are burned out, unfortunately. So I could go the route of uh, sourcing a, a a similar motor and bodging it on, but I figured I've seen these um, stepper motors on eBay for like really cheap, like this, and the driver cost me I think like a dollar twenty-five something like that with free shipping, which is ridiculous. So um, this is a 5 volt stepper motor, so my idea is to actually run this entire system off 5 volts. I checked the uh, bulb, the incandescent bulb actually is fairly bright at 5 volts, so good enough. So I can make this USB powered, which is absolutely insane. Uh, anyway, uh, this motor, I uh, pulled the actual gear from the original um, broken motor, I pulled it off the shaft, and I drilled a hole into the... Um, this little bit here on the stepper motor so I can insert it and I use some Loctite. So it's on there pretty tight now. I mean, if I pulled it out with pliers and, you know, put this in a vise, I might be able to get it out. But I'm pretty sure under normal use, this will never come out again. Anyway, so we're, we're all set on that. I have, just as an example, an Arduino. Um, it's a Pro Mini, and I programmed it to step through um, and just rotate this in one direction. Um, and this isn't very precisely timed. I haven't figured out. I'll ha actually have to calculate based off the number of teeth on the gears and whatnot in order to get it to advance at the correct rate. So this is just an arbitrary rate that I, I uh, chose. And anyway, we'll plug this in, power it on. You can see the uh, lights light up. They flicker a little bit because it actually is pulsing in series. And you can see very slowly turning. The motor's actually pretty quiet too. I like that. Anyway, I'm going to have to 3D print a mount, but uh, just as an example, we can um, just hold it here. You can see the seconds are advancing faster than they should be, but at least they're turning. And we're going to see this roll over and see if this motor has enough torque. Um, pretty sure it will. I held it with between, like, between my fingers while I was running, and I had kind of difficulty in getting it to stop, so... That means this is pretty geared up, so they should do just fine, and we can control the angle and the speed perfectly in software. But yep, you can see it's starting to turn over. There we go, perfect. Look how smooth that is. So yeah, it looks like this um, the stepper motor is going to work. Now let me just pull this out. So what we are going to have to do now is, um, obviously... I probably should have cut down the shaft and put the gear closer and kind of made it shorter. Um, I think it'll be fine because the original motor actually stuck out quite a bit as well. So I'm going to um, get measurements of the frame. Um, key features that I'll need probably, I'll 3D print something, probably like reuse these screw posts so that goes in there and it aligns correctly. And then, um, It'll basically have screws for the motor that go straight in, and it holds the uh, entire motor just at the perfect angle to get everything to line up um, and get the, the gear parts meshed. And after that, all I need to do then is uh, figure out the timing for how fast I need to spin this, and it'll be trivial. I won't even need a full Arduino to, uh, to do that. I can program a 8-pin pick because this only needs uh, four wires here, you can see. And because it doesn't actually keep track of time, I don't need an RTC. It just needs to spin a motor at a very precise speed, which is basically what the original synchronous motor did. So this will be absolutely perfect for a tiny little 8-pin pick, uh, just you know, using a crystal oscillator or something like that for accuracy. And just sitting there all the time and just spinning this motor just pretty, pretty precisely and will be set then. And I can actually use this as a clock and just have to wire up the bulb, obviously. But yeah, I'm really excited about how this is turning out. This, I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I wasn't sure if I could actually drill into this piece or if I had to fashion some kind of custom gear or whatever. But it worked. I just used a hand drill very carefully. 
and you can see it's mounted pretty solidly. There's a bit of, there's a lot of wiggle actually. Um, this motor isn't very precision, but I think it'll work just fine. Anyway, uh, this was just a quick video. I'll do an update once I get the 3D printed part done and get this mounted and um, figure out the software and the microcontroller situation. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we're going to bring this guy back to life. I, I actually have uh, pretty good hopes now. So this is going to be really cool. Just going to, on the box, instead of having it AC powered, obviously, I'm going to have to figure out, as I lose screws, figure out a way of um, mounting like a USB cord or a port. Actually, I could probably reuse a hole here. I just run a standard USB lead in and uh, we'll be set. We'll be golden. This is really cool. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions or ideas, um, put them down below and uh, we'll see what we can do with this guy.